Hi, this is Kanna Babu. This is part two of XML video, right? In the last class, we discussed about what is well-formed XML, what is the difference between HTML as well as XML. In this video, initially we'll discuss about XML parser. So, actual the output of any XML document will be on browser. So, in in order to execute the XML document within the browser, we need to have one software that is nothing but XML parser. So XML parser is a program which is used to execute the XML document. Actually, these XML parsers are basically of two types. One is non-validating XML parser. Other one is validating XML parser. Non-validating XML parser means it is used to execute well-formed XML document. And validating XML parser means it is used to execute valid XML document. Is it clear? So you no need to install any extra software that will be available in build along with what? Browser. That is why browser is able to display the XML document. So in the last session we discussed about what is well-formed XML document. Well-formed XML document means the XML document that was created uh, by using some set of rules or with proper syntax is called as well-formed XML document. In this video we will discuss about what is valid XML document. Right. Valid XML document is nothing but well-formed XML document, well-formed XML document plus DTD or XST, DTD or XST. DTD means document type definition, XST means XML schema document. So what is the use of this DTD and XST means? These both are generally used to describe the XML document. Means what? For example, in the last session, we discussed about uh, how to create an XML document. So in this XML document, I have one root element and I have one parent element and I have some child elements and uh, some data is available in that particular element. So what is the use of DDD means? DDD is uh, used to describe the XML document. For example, if I create one XML document, now if you want to consume my XML document, I need to pre prepare one document which comes of the information about my XML document like what is the root element name or parent element name, what is the child element name uh, and what type of data that is available in that XML document. The entire description or the information about the XML document that is available in the DTD. I hope you understood. I am having one XML document. So DTD is generally used to advertise the XML file. DTD or XSD is generally used to advertise the XML file. For example, this is my XML file. Now, as a programmer, uh, it is difficult for you uh, to understand uh, how to understand this XML document because you don't know what are these root element names and everything. The entire description of this particular um, XML file, we will try to describe in DDD file. So, if you want to understand the XML document, you can understand by reading what? DDD or XSD file. I hope you understood. So actually DTDs are of two types. One is internal DTD and the other one is external DTD. Internal DTD means it is used to create the DTD file along with the XML document in a single file. Creating the DTD file and XML file, XML document in the single file. That type of DTDs are called as internal DTD. External DTD means creating the DTD file in a separate file and save with .ddd extension and we need to import the ddd file in xml file and creating xml file separately and ddd file separately and import the ddd file in your xml file that type of document is called as um, external ddd so first of all we will see how to create the internal ddd so here initially we will see how to create the xml file and then how to create the internal ddd in the last video, I explained how to create the XML document. If you want, you can watch the previous video. So, here let us assume that I have one XML document which consists of root element that is employees and parent element is employee and child element is e number, e name as well as salary. Now, I want to, for example, if the end user wants to consume my XML document, first of all, he, he need to understand the XML file. In order to understand that one, I will create one DTD file. DTD is 
used to advertise the XML file. It is used to describe the XML document. So whenever you want to work with DDD, here the first element I will write as doc type. Doc type means document type. It is used to mention the root element name. This property is used to mention the root element name. So actual DDD is used to describe the XML document. So here I will give the root element name as employees. Is it clear? So generally every tag in XML is considered as what element. Here you can see this is root element. This is parent element and these all are child elements. I am calling as an element. Element means the tag that you write within this angular basis. You can call that one as element. So here these element can be represented by using element uh, tag. So here I will try to write element. And uh, here I will mention the element name. The root element name is what? Employees. Here I need to mention the employees, the root element name. And here uh, within that root element, I will write the parent element name as employee. And here I will mention star. What is the meaning of this? Here the meaning is by seeing this one, we can understand this is what root element name. And in this root element, we have some child elements are there. Some parent elements are there. The name of the parent element is employee. Is it clear? And um, star represents what? It means that we have more than one parent element that occurred in the XML document. I hope you understood. Now similarly, here I will try to represent one more element. Now I will give the description about what the parent element. Element. The name of the parent element is employee space. And here I have to write the child element names. E number, comma what? E name, comma salary. Is it clear? And here I need to mention the child element names element and here i'll give the e number space here i will write hash pc data i will explain what is this pc data is it clear and similarly three elements are declared one is e name and the other one is salary you no need to write the ddd file as a programmer you must know how to understand the ddd file see let us assume this is my xml document now I need to understand this XML document. How to understand? Now I must know how to read the DDD file. This is my DDD file. Within the DDD file, I need to understand the doc type represents what a root element name. Means I need to understand that in this XML document, there is one root element with name what? Employees. And under that root element, there are more than one parent elements are available with name what? Employee. The star represents what? Uh, the in, uh, number of occurrence. It represents that more than one parent element is occurred in your particular XML document. The name of the parent element is employee. Under that parent uh, element, you have three child elements are there. One is E number, other one is E name, other one is salary. And E number will accept the PC data. Here, don't forget to give the space. Is it clear? Uh, and here also you need to give some space. Right. So here, E number represents PC data. PC data means parsed character data. C data means character data. Both PC data and C data are used to mention the type of data that we are storing in the XML document. PC data will be validating. PC data means parsed character data. It, it, it will be validating by XML parser. C data will not validate by XML parser. It means that for example, if I store any data, which is uh, um, something like if I store uh, le uh, 101 less than 102, something like that. If you give any other characters, apart from characters, if you give the special characters like less than and ampersand, then PC data will show the error message. Because at the time of executing the XML document, XML parser will validate, it will verify that data is valid or not. Whereas C data means it will not, uh, um, C data will allow any type of data. PC data will not allow uh, all the characters. C data will allow any type of data. Means it was not validated by what? XML parser. Is it clear? See here basically you don't confuse with the DDD file. Here whenever you buy any new product, along with that product they will give you the manual which will describe the entire information about that particular product. 
Similarly, here DDD is working like a manual. Whenever you create any XML document, your XML document can be used by any other developer. Now that developer must understand what type of data is there in your XML document. What root? What is the root element name? What is the parent element name? What is the child element name? What type of data is there? Is it PC data or C data? The entire information of your XML document will be available within your DDD. So as a developer, he must know how to read the DDD file. Based on the DDD file or XSD file only, he can understand the XML document. I hope you understood. So now I'll try to save this document. Control S, employee dot uh, XML file, and here you can see. This is your output. Right. If any error will occur means it will show the error message. For example, here if I not give the space, you save it again and again you press F5, you will get the error. Error on line number 3 at column 20, space required after the element name. It is mandatory to declare the space after the element name. So who is displaying this error messages? XML parser. That's what I am telling. Is it clear? So external DDD means creating the DDD file separately. Here you see, I will try to open the notepad. And here I will try to create the DDD file. Creating the DDD file separately and importing the DDD file in the XML document. I will save this DDD file. Save as. Here I will try to go to uh, my computer and E drive. In E drive I will try to save this document. Is it clear? It's something like employee. Employee.ddd. So here I saved my DDD file in E drive. Now I will try to create my XML file so this is my xml file right within this xml file i have mentioned uh, the same previous program i am doing a small modification here now i need to add the ddd file so how to add doc type and here you need to mention the root element name what is the root element name employees and where is that file that is available system system means local system is it clear and here you need to mention the path of the, the location of the file where it is available. File colon triple slash in which drive? E drive. E colon slash the name of the file I will give as employee.ddd. I hope you understood. This type of DDD is called as external DDD. External DDD means creating the DDD file separately and importing the DDD file in your um, XML document. The type of DDD is called as external ddd now try to save this one here you can click on save so here you try to execute this one got the data font i will show you right click open with browser here you can see it will show you the xml file that's it whatever the program you have written you will get the same output because it is used to describe the data now if you try to give any modification for this, for example here if you are not giving any space and again save it, it will display the error message, here you can see. See XML parsing error, syntax error, location, at this location line number 2, column number 27. So here you need to give the space. I hope you understood, external DDD means DDD is used to describe the XML document, DDDs are of two types. One is internal DDD, other one is external DDD. Internal DDD means creating the DDD file and XML document in the single file. External DDD means creating the DDD file separately and XML file separately and importing the DDD file within the XML document. That is called as external DDD. I hope you understood. So for more videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as Facebook group. Here you can see www.youtube.com slash user slash kannababu thank you have a nice day